All right, good evening and welcome to Wednesday Night Recharge. So tonight's going to look a little different uh, than what we're used to, and that's okay. We can change things up a little bit. Uh, given just the, the heaviness of uh, the circumstances in the world um, and everything that's going on, I wanted to spend the, the first 10 minutes of us just, just praying together as a people, okay? And, and then we will worship, all right? So the first 10 minutes are prayer, and then the last 10 minutes are going to be worship, and then we're going to be dismissed. Um, but the, so the first things that I wanted us to pray for, this is what we're going to pray for in order. We're going to pray for Israel. We're going to pray for what's going on on the East Coast with the hurricane and all the destruction. And then we're going to pray for the election, okay? Uh, so those three things. Um, so getting those three things in in 10 minutes is, is going to feel quick as it is. Uh, but remember the Lord and his promises that we are his people, that we come before the throne of God in the name of Jesus. And when we gather together, uh, there is a special, unique power of the people of God collectively praying, coming before uh, God's throne in Jesus' name. And remember the picture that Jesus gives us in the book of Hebrews, that he sits at the Father's right hand and he bids us to come. Amen. Come, in my name, come. I will, I will hear you, okay? Um, so uh, I'm gonna give you just a, a few moments to pray right there in your seat. Uh, but let's start off and let's pray for Israel as a nation. Let's pray for um, just the, the constant chaos of what's going on in our world. Uh, Ukraine and Russia are in war and everything in the Middle East can, continues to escalate. Um, and so I want to give you a few moments to pray and then I will pray for us together. Heavenly Father, what a privilege it is to, to be able to come before you in Jesus' name as, as your people, your people who have been ransomed by your Son. Father, we understand our Bibles and we understand the unique position that Israel stands as, uh, as your people, <clears throat> that you have chosen to bring about your work and the movement uh, all the way up until your son. And Father, that they have been temporarily hardened as the gospel goes around the world. Father, first and foremost, it is our deep, deep prayer that you would save them, that there would be revival, that you would open their eyes that they would see the magnificence of your son and that they would cry out in faith and see that your son is the Messiah, the promised one to them. Father, we know that you have a unique hand and a strong hand, a sovereign hand in all of history with the movement of nations and all that goes on. Father, we pray uh, for uh, Israel as our partner in the Middle East, God, that you would protect them. God, that you would go before them and behind them against the terrorists that continue to launch from so many different vantage points. Uh, terrorists that absolutely hate you, Father. And so we pray for Israel. We do pray for peace. And ultimately, Father, we pray 
uh, for a revival, that they would come to faith in Jesus Christ. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Next, I want us to spend just a few moments and to pray for uh, our nation and what is taking place uh, with the horrific hurricane uh, Helene on the East Coast, the absolute damage and destruction that that has caused. Um, I was speaking just moments ago to Jane McCurley, uh, if you'd make your way up, Miss Jane. Um, <clears throat> and I just asked her to share, she's got a personal story, a personal account, because uh, she's a, what's your official title? You're the Director of Nurses. Chief Nurse Executive. There you go. Methodist Healthcare. Yeah, and so uh, her, her hospital has connections there, and so uh, Jane specifically has just been on round-the-clock uh, uh, involved with, with the hospital system and everything that's going on there. Just give us a quick taste of kind of what the people there are experiencing and kind of even in the hospital system. Uh, and that's a personal perspective that just allows you to see from a personal touch just the massive devastation of what people are going through. Thank you, Pastor. So, um, yes, we have a, a very large hospital there in, in Asheville, and so um, most of the staff have lost their homes. There's no water. There's no sewage. We have 706 patients in the hospital. We have 350 patients in our emergency department right now with hundreds waiting to come in. And so there, there are no food, no water, no electricity. We have electricity because we have generators. It's a hospital. Um, but we are struggling now. One of our largest suppliers for IV fluids um, has been um, decimated. And so we're on an IV shortage. So trying to deal with that across the nation. It's really just going to be months of, of endurance. And so we're sending tons of staff. I'm sending over 200 of my nurses there to help and relieve their teams. Um, but just asking for prayers for, for all of the caregivers so that our patients can be served in that community. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. So just think, uh, that's, that's just one snapshot <clears throat> of what's going on in and some of the most critical areas <clears throat> in terms of the hospital is just being able to, to care for people. Um, and I'm sure many of you in this room have, have loved ones and relatives. You have personal connections um, and, and the horror stories of just intense, absolute devastation. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind, uh, circle up with a few people around you and let's just spend some time praying and crying out, begging for the Lord. I want... I want you to pray for uh, the Christians um, and the churches in this, in this area and in the surrounding area to be able to be the hands and feet of Christ. Um, what an opportunity for the gospel to be shared, the hope that is in Jesus Christ, knowing that uh, in life we're going to have trouble. Um, but what an opportunity uh, to share the hope of Jesus. So you guys just circle up in small pockets. It doesn't have to be big groups. Just spend a few moments in prayer.
Heavenly Father, we know that you hear our cries in Jesus' name. God, our hearts break because we, we see and we know that our fellow Americans are, are going through absolute, absolute devastation uh, in their lives to, to, have, to have their homes flooded, to have hospitals and, and emergency uh, needs of food and water and such uh, essential things that we need, um, God, to, to not have those, uh, to know that people who are dependent upon medical care, that the weakest are going to suffer even the most. And so, God, our hearts break. <clears throat> and we know that your heart breaks um, in the midst of this. And so, so Father, we cry out, we, we lift our heads to you, and, <clears throat> and we cry out, uh, and God, we pray for, for mercy. We pray, uh, God, that your, your hand can be seen in the midst of this suffering. Uh, God, that you would use your people to be your hands and your feet, uh, that Christians would, would enter into the suffering because you are a God who enters into our suffering. Um, and Father, uh, we use our resources, we use our strength, we use all of that, God, to, to meet our neighbor's need, all for the glory of your name. And so, Father, we pray in the midst of this crisis, uh, God, that, that you will be glorified. We ask for that in Jesus' name. And so, church family, um, <clears throat> you will hear from, from us as a church what we, were gonna, what we are going to do uh, specifically uh, probably through Texas Baptist Men to uh, specifically give to that crisis, uh, as well as a recommendation if you want to give further funds to that. Um, uh, we're out of time for, for that, so we'll come back and we'll pray for the election next week or the week after that. I'm going to call Mark and Daniel up. They're going to come and, and lead us in a couple songs. Uh, <clears throat> but if you are, are here, the, the last thing I wanted is if you are here and as we, as we stand up and sing, uh, if you have a personal prayer request, uh, myself and, and maybe some others, uh, if you feel comfortable with, with leading people in prayer, if you'd just come down in front and um, please, if you have a personal burden this evening, whether it's a relationship, whether it's job related, whether it's praying for a loved one or any such thing, uh, please do not hesitate to respond. I'll be down here at the front and so will others. Will you stand? <clears throat>